Up until recently, the Sprinter 4x4 van market has had surprisingly little competition. Sure, you have a lot of custom van outfitters like Sportsmobile or Outside Van, but in terms of mass-produced off-grid vans, you really only had the Winnebago Revel and Storyteller Overland to choose from. But just this past year, a new crop of vans joined this fastest growing Class B segment. And today, I'm going to compare my personal 2021 Storyteller Overland Classic mode to the Bruder Sprinter Camper Van. For this comparison, we'll award one point to each category's winner. We'll compare the exterior design and interior features of the van. We'll take them off-roading. And at the end, we'll crown a winner. So let's jump into it. The Storyteller is based on the Mercedes Sprinter 144 4x4 chassis and powered by a 188 horsepower turbo diesel V6. Weighing in at 9,000 pounds, it's not a sports car. But once up to speed, it's a surprisingly good handling cruiser. The Bruder, on the other hand, only weighs 2 pounds 12 ounces, but it runs on a one manpower engine with a top speed of only however fast you can push it. So this round goes to the Storyteller. The Storyteller has four trim levels and two different van chassis to choose from. You have the Ford Transit-based LT, Mercedes Sprinter Base Classic, which is what I have, the Stealth, so you can blend in with all the Amazon delivery vans, and the top of the line Beast, which you're not going to blend in with anything, but that's kind of the point. The Bruder, on the other hand, only has one trim level, and it comes with this very subtle grade decor on the top, so it's tastefully minimal. Design is a very personal thing. Which design do you like? Comment below and let me know. For me personally, I didn't care for the 70s look before I got the van and even thought about removing these stickers. But now that I've had it for a while, it's really grown on me. So I'm going to give this round to Storyteller. Now coming to the side, you'll see the Storyteller has a very sturdy side ladder that's mounted to the frame. There are pros to this being a very sturdy ladder. But the con is, it does stick out more and could potentially cause more damage if you snag a tree or a rock while off-roading. The Bruder, on the other hand, has the ladder mounted on the rear door, like the Revel. I like how it's out of the way, but considering Sprinter rear doors have a weight limit, mounting the ladder here means extended use might cause damage to your door hinges or the body panel. So this round, I'm going to have to give it to the Storyteller. So far, our Bruder is now doing well. Let's see if it can catch up in the next category. Okay, I didn't see the initial appeal of having a rooftop on a van, but now I do. Both vans have a rooftop area you can sit on. Although in the Storyteller, a big chunk of the space is taken up by the air conditioning unit and the solar panels. In the Bruder, there's only this, um, I don't know, either a rooftop access hatch or a toilet seat cover. Either way, the rest of the rooftop is wide open with so much real estate. It also comes with these two rubber bands that you can use to strap a straw bolt, a dinosaur, or external lighting. So bright. So this round, finally a win for Bruder. I personally rarely use the awning, but both vans do come with them. In the Storyteller, it's an electronically operated one that has a sensor built in so it can retract if it senses wind. But the truth is, this awning retracts so slowly. If the wind really is that strong, you probably will lose the awning before it can get back in. The Bruder, on the other hand, has a manually operated awning. I can just pull it out or push it in. Pull it out or push it in so much faster and easier. So, another win for the Bruder. Now let's move on to the interior. 
The Storyteller's driver compartment is highly upgraded and checked a lot of boxes in the Mercedes options list. There are two seats in the front, two seats in the back. With these two seats swirled around, you can form a nice dining area. The Bruder has a crew cab configuration, so it's a lot more utilitarian compared to the Storyteller. It also feels a lot more plasticky. The crew cab configuration means it can seat three people side by side up front. So it's much easier to have a conversation with your passengers. But the downside is you lose the crucial swirling seats. Oh, and the Bruder only has four cup holders versus the Storyteller's eight cup holders. Maybe four cup holders work in Deutschland, but not here in America, nine. So this round once again goes back to the Storyteller. The Storyteller has a flexible floor plan. The Groove Lounge can flip down to form a lounge, or it can turn into a bed for one. In the back, you have another bed, allowing three adults to sleep in here. The kitchen is right here, partially blocking the door. Combined with only a few windows in the back, it can feel dark and cramped back here. The Bruder, on the other hand, feels so much more open. There are windows all around. You feel like you're sleeping in nature, not insulated from it. The kitchen is out of the way, leaving a wide open area as soon as you walk in. And without the cabinets overhead, you're less likely to hit your head. So, a win for the Bruder. In the Storyteller, this Murphy bed flips up, allowing an open garage area with storage space for tall items. But unless you have a mountain bike to carry on every trip, it's not as good at utilizing this space. You either have to buy a bunch of storage boxes or have an aftermarket storage solution. The bed in the Bruder is fixed, but it does have an enclosed storage area under the bed. These drawers make it much easier to organize your stuff. So it's a tough choice, but I think I'll give this one to Storyteller because you have more options to organize storage your way. The Storyteller comes with bug screen doors and window shades for all the windows. The Bruder doesn't come with any window shades, but it does come with a picnic table and chairs for two, as well as a full set of plates and silverware, as well as handsome Hans. Sure, the Storyteller has a table by the door that flips down, but just look at how cute this picnic set looks. I have to give this win to Bruder. Now let's talk about off-road capabilities. After all, that's why we buy these 4x4 camper vans over a traditional Class B RV. On this front, Storyteller does surprisingly well for something this heavy. It has selectable 4x4 and locking 4 low to help you get over some tougher obstacles. Still, Storyteller is not a hardcore off-roader. There are obstacles too big for this van. But this is where Bruder really shines. It's so small and nimble. Difficult terrain is its natural playground. Just look at how it conquered this log. And the snowy peak. Take that, Todd Arnold. <laughs> so this round goes to Bruder. Wow, now we have a nail biter tie with just one category left. And this is a very crucial category. Storyteller is not cheap. The van price starts at around $150,000 and tops out at almost $200,000. That's where the Bruder has a huge advantage. It costs only $89.99 on Amazon. Best of all, you don't have to wait for a year like you do on the Storyteller. Last I checked, it's still available on Amazon and you can get it shipped in less than a week. And still have money left over to buy 1,753 more of the same Bruder van. Or this one. Or this one. 
or this one, or this one, or this one, or this one. Oh God, someone stop me. I want to buy them all. <sighs> Sorry about that. So this round goes to Bruder. In the end, it was a very close call. The storyteller is still an excellent off-grid camper, but move over because there's a new kid in town. It's kid, because it's small. Yeah, you, you get it? Yeah. Sorry, I'm lame joke. So do you agree with the results? Share your thoughts below. Even if you don't agree, what I think we can agree on is that all of this increased competition can only be good for us, the consumer. While a few years back, we only had limited choices. Now, in addition to Revel and Storyteller, we have Pleasureway Recon, Thor Sanctuary and Tranquility, J. Cole Terrain, Tiffin Cahaba. So I look forward to checking all of these new vans out and maybe do some 360 VR van tours in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. If you want to see more comparisons like this in the future, please leave a like. Until then, happy April Fool's Day and I'll see you next time.